Here we go then. Michael Schumacher exits Luffield, goes on to his first flying lap, and this is our first chance to see what the front runners can do in the hotter conditions that we've got now for qualifying at Silverstone. Into Cops Corner, third gear through there, changes up, uses the full width of road on the exit, and now the run down towards Beckett's. And let's just listen to this side of Schumacher in Beckett's. Well, Schumacher, in fact, reverted back to his race car, his prime car. He ran the spare car this morning. Then he's got a revised airbox mechanism, but he's back into his regular race car. One and a half seconds faster than you'd expect it to be that Ricardo Rosetta, that first intermediate point. But what will be more telling is what is the difference when he gets up to the second intermediate section. Well, in fact, it's just become... Uh... Jos Verstappen, the reference point, because Verstappen has just gone fastest in the footwork heart with the revised engine. They've got a pneumatic air valve system on that engine now, but watch Schumacher. What can he do now? There you see Verstappen's reference time, second checkpoint. This is where we've seen Schumacher sliding a bit this weekend. Well, he was on the curb. Now then, through bridge corner, this is where his commitment shows on the brakes. Into the left-hander, 2.7 seconds faster than Jos Verstappen. Well, of course, we would expect him to be much quicker again working the steering wheel hard through the final section and just out of the final corner now. Yeah, and I'm having difficulty getting the car to tuck into the first apex, sliding wide over the curb on the exit now across to our finish line. The time for Michael Schumacher, 127.707, and that compares to 127.624, so almost a mirror for the time he achieved this morning. 